Hello there, beautiful people. It is a gorgeous day in sunny Florida, and we are going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Part one was uh, kind of getting onto the site and loading your profile pic and your cover photo. Now, I'm gonna show you how to do that if, if you weren't able to from that first video. So we're gonna call this part two of getting oriented to the Sioux site. You just joined in the last day or two, maybe in the last week, and you're wanting to uh, become active and, and get, uh, get rolling. So we're gonna click on the upper right-hand corner will be your name. Click on that and it'll drop down to settings. And on settings, it pretty much will open up a lot of options for you. Uh, on the left-hand column of that page, you can access your notifications, which when you start receiving friend requests, which if you've been online for a day or two, you may already have some in there. Um, if you click on notifications, on the right-hand side after you click, it'll say friend request. And you can click there and see which ones you have pending and you can just accept them or decline them depending on, on how you wanna handle that. But that is something that you can utilize throughout um, as you're going along each day. You can check there to see if you missed any of those notifications for your friend requests. And I found that I've had 10, 15, 20 a day in there sometimes. So keep that in mind. And then uh, underneath your notifications, you'll have your message center for your private messaging, where you can send someone a message that only you and them can see. And your bank is also in that area, which as you go along each day and start to earn your pennies and they start to add up to dollars, you will be able to track that. It gives you a graph there as well. You can do a screen print and share it with your friends on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or whatever you choose to do there. Uh, your analytics section is also there, which is really cool. One of my favorite places to click. It breaks down each individual post that you have and tells you how many views, how many likes, and how many comments. Isn't that cool? So it, it gives you like the last 30, maybe 30 to 40 that you've posted. And so each day you can go through and see how the variables are. To me, they're pretty much all the same at this point in the game, but in the beginning, they were different, so I could adjust my post based on what those stats were. So pretty cool. And then your family tree, is also right there on that left-hand column. And that is something that I spend a lot of time in these days with my network and helping the people that I have signed up. So that's a really good way to manage and keep track of, of who, who you can contact and whatnot. And then also you can see the people that they have signed up and you can view the tree as it goes along and then it goes like four or five tiers. You can continue to see who those people signed up, who those people signed up and, and so on. So that's really cool. You can kind of get lost in there for a day if you, if you want once you, once you start to sign people up. And then FAQs is right underneath that on the left hand column. I strongly would suggest going in there and reading through that. It, would, it doesn't take you more than 20 minutes probably. But there's some, some good tips in there. The algorithm is in there, which kind of tells you how you're paid on a, on a high level. It will give you an idea. So that's just a little bit of uh, orientation there on the settings. And then to set up your pictures will be on the right-hand column. After you click settings, the right-hand column will say profile. Click there, it'll give you the option to upload your avatar, which is your profile pic. And then your cover photo is right below that. And then also on that same profile page, you can put in your bio, which will appear right on your cover photo on the bottom of it. And you can also put in your website. If you have a website that you use um, that you want to advertise whatever you, it, you sell or, or your business, whatever your website is for, 
And also you can put in your, uh, I think there's a Pinterest option in there and also a YouTube. If you have a YouTube channel, you can put that in there too. So that will get you started there. We're at, we're at five minutes, so I'm gonna cut this off and we'll continue on part three. I hope you all have a wonderful day and hope that helps for you. I love you. Mwah.